What's up guys, it's JD Career here and welcome to a brand new series called OAP Squad Legends. This is inspired by the Youth Squad Legends series created by Cutsy, in which he tries to take a team from League 2 to the Premier League using only youth players. But in this series we're going to try and use only players aged 30 and older. This means no prospects, no youth academy and not much player growth. There's only two rules in this series, we can only play players over the age of 30 and we can only sign new players once they've retired or moved on to another club. So we should see quite a few players come through the team with all the retirements happening each season. And who better to lead the team through this challenge than the oldest player on the game, Kazuyoshi Miura. He's still playing in real life at the age of 53, but here he's decided to hang up his boots and step into management, vowing to prove that older players are just as good as the youngsters. The club are using this Port Vale simply because of all the League 2 clubs, they've got the highest numbers of players over 30, with I think 9 in total. And we're going to be using the free agents to try and fill the rest of the team, so we have about two players for each position and everyone else already in the team under 30 is getting transfer listed so we're going to be sending out all our players pretty much let's have a look at the manager objectives they've given us here the youth development ones obviously we won't be playing any youth academy players in this series so that second long-term objective we won't be able to do we might be able to do the short-term one we might sign some youth academy players up but then sell them on rather than play them try and make a bit of money maybe brand exposure get 10 clean sheets that's easily done financial finish with at least nine hundred thousand pounds profit at the end of the first transfer window might be able to do that considering we're selling the whole team pretty much but it depends who does get sold domestic objectives the board wants us to gain automatic promotion we were one of the strongest teams in the league before we sold most of the team so hopefully the players will bring and will keep us at that top level fa cup they want us to reach a round of 16 that might be a bit of an ask really that Okay, pre-season is over. We've reached the first game of the season against Bradford and we've been making some moves in the transfer market. We've got a big signing on our hands here. I'll take you into the squad to look at the team. Kazuyoshi Mura has used his connections to bring in his former teammate, the former Celtic and Japan legend Nakamura. 42 years of age, 65 rated, so he's not even one of the better players on the team. His physical stats are not good his pace and acceleration might as well be zero because that's shocking but he's here for his technical ability look at that he's got 90 free kick accuracy there his passing's good his long shots are good so hopefully he'll be able to get some set piece goals for us he's played in champions leagues world cups and now he's going to be fighting it out in league two we've also brought in the beast Akin Fenwer, another one of the older players in the game at 38. Similar story stats wise to Nakamura, his pace is shocking, but he's got that strength and the good balance as well. Some players that were still at the club, there's Pope there, Warrell, Leg, Brown, Fitzpatrick as well. We brought in Ashley Williams, the former Everton Swansea centre back. Smith in at right back from on a free transfer. Figuera, Castro also on freeze. Robertson was already at the club. Lafferty, another big name, was coming on a free. He's still got decent sprint speed acceleration there for an older guy, which is good. Bullman, another man brought in. He is 41, another one of the older ones in the game. Joyce was already at the club, as was Brisley. Vita, the goalkeeper, also at the club when it started. Fiola has been brought in on a free as well. We've still got a few players to bring in too. We need another cam and another centre mid and another centre back and a left back and that would fill out two players for every position but for now let's get into a game Bradford one of the better teams in the league so this should be a tough game but then I think we're also one of the better teams in the league because the players we brought in are quite high rated okay our game plan here is just keep the ball really because our players do not have the pace or the stamina really to play a high pressing fast counter-attacking game trying to play those balls through to the strikers penalty early penalty that was very soft it was a foul on 
Was it Castro? Well, I think it has to be Nakamura, doesn't it, on his debut. What a penalty that is. Oh. What a start to his career as well. Minutes into his debut, cracks a penalty off the underside of the bar. Oof. How about that? Unsavable. Oh, should have scored that. There's the manager, King Kazu. Oh, poor. There's the equaliser. Didn't track that run in. Oh, it's the left back. He's let his man go. Good ball. Big chance here. Oh, he just couldn't finish it. Nakamura there doing well, playing that through ball. The Beast just needed some more composure. Oh, why is their keeper doing? <laughs> oh my God. I did not tell him to come out. Oh, the lamp just... Drift past the there. Poor defending again. Got to be more switched on if we're to win games in this league. Good ball. Pope's not got the legs though. Castro. Equaliser. Great goal. Pope's didn't have the legs. He put it back inside. Akin Fenrir. Pivotal in that move and playing the ball out to Pope, receiving it back and a play in Castro. And solid finish. Got some defending to do here. Looks like we've got an extra man. Good header. Fenway not gonna win the ball off him, are you mate? Good play. Chance blocked. Oh big chance that was it Bullman. Just off the bench with a chance. I think Fenway's been brilliant today. <laughs> absolutely led with that. That's gold dick. Oh, it's corner. Give him a corner. Chance here. I can send well. <laughs> Got to hit the target there. Free header. Oh, that's a shocking miss. There we go. A draw in the first game, not a bad result. Two cheap goals that we gave away. I think we could have won that game, especially if I can finally put that late header away. Okay, so we've made some more signings here. Four players coming in, and that should be our work in the transfer market finished now, because we have two players for every position. So we've got Campos, midfielder, El Solia, midfielder, Brites, left back, and Arijuri, the centre back there, filling in the last position. All four come in to make their debuts in our game today against Stevenage. Not one of the strongest teams in the league. They drew their first game like us, but hopefully we should have too much for them today. Oh dear, dear, dear. Just two quick passes. And you get a man free for a shot too easily there. It's Arijuri on his debuts, let his man run off him. Good ball. Chance. Oh, he's put it wide. Almost a debut goal. 
with El Solia running in behind. Oh, beautiful back heel there. Absolutely stitched me up. It looked like he was going to go for the shot and slid in to block it. And he's hit me with the cheeky back heel. Back in Fenway. Chance for his first goal and he's got it. The beast. Doing flips. <laughs> Of course, the ground shaking. Worked it well there, got the, the numbers forward. Well in, Smith. Great interception. Chance here. Pope equalises. Great play by... Smith, the right back, winning the ball, pushing into the opposition half. Akinfenma played his part, holding the ball up and playing in Pope. That's a good finish. No, good save. He needed you there, Baker. Oh, another big save. No, no. Shocking defending in the last minute of the game. He just had to hold on. We had the ball up front. Akinfenwa had it and he gave it away on the defence. Oh, he's just let him go. Just let him go. 3-2. Disappointing. Our next game, a chance for instant revenge here against Stevenage again, this time in the EFL Cup. I'm going to switch up the team and play our second string. Oof, big hit. Bullman on his debut. Oh, keepers. Oh, just gets there. It's full time. Just a poor game overall. And it goes straight to penalties. First to take. Scores it. Gets the, in the goal. Can't do anything about that one. Look at the same corner. Makes it. Is that a save? That went in. <laughs> 100% went in. It was counted as a save. I've never seen that before. Like he saved it, hit the keeper and went in. Oh, and then Stevenage make the save too. This, did he save that or hit the bar? Either way, it's a miss. Robinson scores. They have to score this now. Oh, he's missed anyway. Port Vale win, they get the revenge for their defeat in the last game. And we're going through to the next round. Our next game is against Malcolm. They sit 11th place with a win and a loss. We're still winning for our first win now, only one point after two games. Let's see if we can get it in this match here. Well in. I'll solve you with the challenge. They've worked it through for a goal somehow after we won the ball in midfield. They get it straight back and play it through us too easily. The first attack of the game for them. Yasuyoshi not happy. As Salia running in. Has to come inside. Shot blocked. Still got it. Ignoring his right foot doesn't quite have the same effect. And we've reduced them. To 28% possession, just the one shot which they've put in. Good chance here for Akin Fenway. He's in, can't finish. Okay, we've got men forward. Chance here, maybe. Akin Fenway make up for the miss before. Absolutely <laughs> skies it. Oh my days. He's <laughs> thrashed it over the bar. That's going to be the last thing you do in this game. Shocking. And 
that'll be game over. Another poor display, and it's another defeat two in a row now in the league. Still waiting for that first win, not a good start to the season at all. So that'll be it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll have away games against Harrogate, home game against Grimsby. We've got Harrogate again in the cup, and then Salford City away. That'll finish off that episode. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.